Hi, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to show you the difference between ball bearing swivels, right there, and barrel swivels that you can use in your tablet weaving to relieve the twist. So I'm just going to push some twists that I've collected up, my border cards down, and there it is, it's untwisted. That was so fast and so easy, I didn't even feel like it was untwisting. So let's do it again and again. These are the ball bearing swivels and that was super easy and super fast. So let's compare that to the barrel swivels. Um, since I always turn my border cards in one direction, this uh, experiment has been pretty important. I've been trying to find a better way to remove a twist from those cards. And I'm not really liking my barrel swivels. Here I am pushing the twist down and it's not in twisting. Like it's not spinning at all. So I gotta give it a little helping hand here. Untwist it manually, push it down. And it's still not doing it. I have to pretty much do it by, you know, by, I have to do the untwisting. So that already, that one swivel compared to the ball bearing ones is a big difference. Uh, let's try that one more time. Every once in a while, the, uh, the the barrel swivels will just build up tension and then pop, and then everything kind of untwists all at once. And sometimes, like this one, it it untwists. It had a little tension, and it had a little resistance, but it untwisted. Um, but I think just those four swivels, the two ball bearing and the two barrel, show you just how great the ball bearing swivels are. I mean, I'm I'm definitely going to be using them from now on on border cards for sure. Um, they're more expensive than the barrel swivels. I'm not going to lie. In fact, the uh, the ones I got are a little too small. I could probably go a little bit larger, but um, they work. But the larger the sizes you go, then the more expensive you get. But for me, it's worth it, and I'm going to use them for my borders from now on. Thanks for watching.